Uh, all right, in the meantime, <laughs> fears of another subprime crisis brewing, not in real estate, not yet. What if I told you in cars, in, in all these auto loans? Gary Kalp, I'm here to explain. I guess, Gary, the fear is that a lot of people who bought cars, and there were, gosh knows, a ton of them that were sold in the latest year, uh, a lot of them were using the equivalent of subprime loans, right? Yeah, look, easy money always leads to easy lending as the businesses try to prop up and keep strong sales going. And what you see is basically the lowering of the bar. We saw it in housing in 07. That was a big one. This one right now is not a big one, but it can grow. And I, yes, I do think it's also going on in housing right now as we're doing that 3% down payment again. All we need to see is housing prices come down. I think you're going to see some problems there also. All right. Now, does all Auto mean housing. In other words, if we have, I think, one out of ten of these is now in arrears 30 days or more, a good chunk of those 60 days or more, is that a precursor to what could happen on the home front? Because, well, they haven't called them subprime loans, they've called them more flexible loans. Yeah, by itself, it doesn't mean it has to happen in housing. But from what I am seeing, I, I'm, I'm seeing the signs of it. You've got to remember that businesses, when sales are so strong because of the easy money, they have to keep those sales going. And in the case of autos, incentives are basically at the highest ever. Last month, leasing was at the highest month ever. That is them trying to keep the numbers up. And that's where they lower the bar on lending down to the ground. And that's where trouble uh, happens. And somebody's going to end up losing money. It's probably the bondholders and all the securitization of all all these uh, loans that are out there, unfortunately. Where do you think it goes? Because for a lot of these folks, they got the car loan. A lot of them had to pay slightly higher uh, rates for that. Um, but a lot of these folks had very low uh, FICA scores. And now you begin to wonder what that means. Uh, keys being dropped off at the uh, auto dealerships. You know, we saw that in housing where people bought homes and didn't have the second mortgage payment, and you saw what happened then, and the, the house came down, uh, no pun intended. Same thing will happen to a certain extent in autos, and if we get a bad economic uh, scenario, I think all heck can break loose because, again, lenders have gone too far uh, trying to get people in that probably should not be getting uh, uh, the products that they're buying right now, namely the autos. And again, I think we're starting to see that in the housing, and I'm seeing some housing numbers I'm not thrilled with uh, right now that not many are talking about. All right. Uh, thank you, Gary. I thank Gary Kalpam. Uh, again, looking <laughs> at uh, what has been a, a pickup in uh, delinquencies on payments uh, for those who carry auto loans. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean it spreads far and wide, even beyond the level it's at now. The fear is that it could.